Uh, oh. If there was ever going to be a rail to learn board slides on, I reckon this one is it. For me, board slides suck. It's just one of those things it's like you're really good at or you're not good at it at all. And I'm the latter. I'm not very good at board slides. I'm kind of a bit scared of them. And today I want to really try and tackle that issue and try and learn and like get myself a little board slide on the little baby rail down there at, uh, at this uh, skate park, which is Bulleen Skate Bowl. So today I've got probably under an hour, just a little bit of a session in between things. So I'm going to try and do a couple of practice steps. Like, I'm pretty lucky here, there's like that fat rail here that I can practice on and stuff like that. So firstly, I'm going to try and do that because that's just building up my confidence personally. And then also I'm going to move on to another technique that I like, another, uh, uh, like a pro skater in Melbourne who's also a skateboard teacher taught me. And that's like using the ledge and like ollieing onto it and stuff like that. So I'm going to use those two techniques first and then move into trying to get onto the ledge. So. I don't want to waste much time here, so I'm going to go to the uh, to the Fat Boy Rail and uh, start trying to work on my slappy slappy board slides and just working on that balance and the bit of a uh, the motion of moving because that's probably something that worries me the most is that motion of moving. Though I have no issues doing 50/50s on rails, it's just like that whole trying to balance while going you're going forward, so it shouldn't be that bad. And I'm pretty lucky here. This is a pretty low rail, so. Um, but uh, yeah, I really want to try to get these because some people get them really easily and for me it's just one of those things that I learned once and I never went that back there again because like I got this really bad habit of like learning tricks and then never doing it again. So don't be like me, learn a trick, do it multiple times because I don't know, I, don't, I have to go back and learn so many tricks again, especially because I haven't been skating too much. But I need to go back when, I level, when I've learned a trick, I learn a trick and forget about it. I've done a board slide once and I've never done it again. So today we're going to tackle that and uh, try to get some board slides. As I mentioned, this is that like nice fat boy rail. It's just good to try and, for me personally, I'm just going to try and get like a little bit of a balance. It's not too waxed up there, but get a little balance, a bit of practice. I don't know if it's really helping me much, but one thing I gotta to remember to do is bend my knees as I get into it. I'm very stiff. I'm a very stiff skater. say if that actually helped me or not at all it's, just, it's it's fun though so it's just it's a slappy i felt like i was fighting the grind a little bit there it might have been waxed it needs to be waxed but i got the little ledge there and i'm going to come from over there and just ollie into it i'm going to start with going straight and then i'm going to progressively increase the angle as if you're doing a board slide so i'm going to move on to that and uh yeah let's check that out Not too fussed about getting off or anything like that. It's just trying to get my get onto the ledge and balanced over it nicely. Take your front board. Landed a little, little baby one off the ledge, oh, end of the ledge. Move to the rail now. It's exhausting, like, going over and over and over. The front board's actually slid quite a bit, so, interesting. If there was ever going to be a rail to learn board slides on, I reckon this one is it. It's nice, thick size, it's nice and low. The one that I originally first did my board slide on was at Old Knox Skate Park, which the rail was quite thin and there was no runoff, so if I'm ever going to land some board slides, today is going to be the day, and this is the rail. Oh, 
Jesus Christ. And my goal is just to hit the end and come off. Maybe one day I could get a bit of a bit more, but today just focus on that end bit. I just can't commit to it. Just stay on it. Stay on the board. Come on. Oh, that's a bad one. Wasn't pretty, but it counts. Oh, that's almost again. I know the people out there will be saying more speed, more speed, but this guy's scared of speed. That's why I created a t-shirt called Anti Velocity. I landed a little odd, but again, I think maybe that much. Satisfying, just trying to get used to the whole motion of grinding and personally I tend to stay quite front heavy on it and that's probably why I'm sticking. I think going down the hill might work a bit better but I hate skating downhill. With the way I lean forward, going faster would help but again, just confidence. I haven't been skating much. Got too little to shooting on so far. I'm pretty happy with that so. I'm going to go do a couple more. I also like trying to throw in some front side ones just for shits and kicks really. Oh, that's almost back to back. That's my other, that's my other issue. Board flipping forward. Because I think, leave it in the comments below, but I think it's because I'm too toe heavy. When I come out, my toes flip it, so I need to try and be a bit more flat-footed, which I'm not very, very good at while skating. A bit more flat-footed, come out, and then here they go. Oh, Stiffer than a teenager's sock, but I landed it okay. That's probably the best one. Just gotta remember to drag my foot properly. And the thing with skateboarding, there's so many little, little errors of little things you gotta remember to do, and I always forget them. Ah, my knee. Oh. Oh. All right, that's uh, that's it. I've ran out of time. I'm uh, pooped. I banged my knee. That's really the main reason why I've stopped. Hit me on the inside of the knee, and that was a bit of a pain in the ass, and it kind of hurt. So, but nevertheless. Hopefully you learned something or if you're like trying to learn these with me or also if you've got any tips I love tips and love your comments so make sure any tips on board sites and stuff like that Leave them in the comments below because I'm really appreciating stuff like that But what I got three Three roll aways and also just gain confidence in general. I reckon on ledges I'll be able to do them on the end of ledges a bit better. I can do both ways. I think a little bit not really sliding it much, but like I guess like my advice that I got given was start on the ledge so you can get that ollieing into the board slide which I kind of I was kind of getting there but like also I was kind of like just I was too far forward of the board which I know everyone's gonna be like you need more speed which yeah I do but 
I need more confidence as well so slowly building up the speed I was and I was throwing a few front boards in there too which I thought I was actually going to land on eventually but not quite board keeps flipping and I just can't I need to keep myself more upright I think when I do that trick but anyway I hope you hope you like enjoyed this video and stuff like that if you did make sure to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already almost at 3,000 subs which is great it's like I'm trying to get more more videos going a bit more effort into it finding my passion for skateboarding and content creation again which is which is nice and it's pleasing because my food stuff I just really it's just going go to the wayside it's, everything's the same these days with that so I'm trying to make some content on this channel and enjoy myself while doing it it's good exercise and stuff like that like I enjoy gym and stuff but this is just this is more fun though I get more hurt and and it costs more but nevertheless it's good to get out on the skateboard and stuff like that and hopefully uh old mate Ash if you're watching this you probably won't but I'm gonna drag him out soon and we'll get some content of him skating and and just enjoying things and maybe a skate part like I want I want him to film a skate part and maybe I can throw a few tricks of there myself in there as well but anyway I'm just babbling now if you um if you are learning board sides too hopefully this helped you out anyway anyway like that just finding things like a curb or a ledge or something like that to ollie on and get that balance and hit your find yourself a rail and and if you do hopefully you do better than i do and uh until the next video guys keep safe and uh keep killing it peace